Hello, this is Craig. If you've been keeping track of me, you know that I've been creating an avatar creation tool for Unity. Uh, now the idea of this tool is that players can use it live in-game to create avatars. And designers could also use it to create uh, NPCs if they'd like. But the core idea is that players can use it to create avatars and share those avatars between all the various games that they might be playing uh, in Unity. So here you see a basic model. Uh, any model can be put here, but this is the one I'm using for now, and I'm in closed editing mode. Closed editing mode allows me to print material straight onto the body. Uh, let's go ahead and mm, put some blue metal on. We'll have some kind of pauldron armor type stuff going on. Like this. And you can see that it has a bump map attached to it. Uh, if we were to switch over to cotton, cotton has a lower height, so when we crease through, you'll be able to see that the cotton is at a lower level. Um, and you can go ahead and uh, uh, customize this character for as long or as short as you'd like and come up with exactly the clothing you want. Most characters would just pick from a preset set of clothes. Uh, this is a very uh, high level uh, tool. You can also paint in wrinkles so you get that look as if it were mesh modification even though at this stage it's not but it can be mesh modification which I'll show you in a little bit so you can just easily print on wrinkles and they work fine if you hit tab then it saves it from editing mode into an actual object that your character is actually wearing and that's important because you can actually layer your clothes and it keeps track of what's going on let's go ahead and use um, a different color of cotton So if we do something like this, and then we hit tab, you'll be able to see that the armor's height will shine through. And if I wanted to, I could have that partially transparent or any number of other kinds of, of things you can do. So you can also rearrange it. You could put this layer underneath. Um, it's all compartmentalized and modular, so it works well. But we don't really want a character that's shaped like this, do we? Let's go ahead and customize our character. So here we have the bone character, uh, the bone customization, and this is primarily for changing things like the height uh, of your character or the width of their shoulders, the size of their arms. Um, so you can uh, uh, create the character's base topology as you'd like. And the reason you have to do this separate from mesh editing is because the bones do animation, and these are actually correctly animated, so uh, using the mechanism system. Uh, so changing these bone lengths will allow you to uh, adapt your character's longer or shorter legs and arms to the to the animations correctly. So uh, when I switch over to mesh editing the bone modifications go away but that's just so that I can do correct collision detection. They, they remain uh, saved in the character and they would be seen in the game. So normally a player would just select you know how beefy they wanted to be or how large they wanted their nose to be um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can actually do full editing of your character. Um, and you can completely change the way that the mesh looks. And this works on any mesh. Uh, I'm using this mesh, but it would actually work just fine on other meshes uh, if you had a mesh that was customized. Uh, and that's the drag tool. Here is the deflate tool, but you can also use the inflate tool, and you can also erase, which erases your modifications. Uh, now this can be used for creating customized characters like I just did, but it can also be used for creating uh, clothes that actually modify your mesh, for example clothes that have sleeves. Um, now, right now, I don't support crisp edges. That's something I'm going to be putting in next. But you can see how you could um, create a, uh, a visual uh, mesh change that shows that you've got sleeves. And there are a lot of options as to exactly how you want to do that, and it really depends on, on what, you're, what you're trying to do. In most cases, uh, most people are going to be happy using pre-made 
mesh modification. So you'd say, well, I want to create a new t-shirt. I don't want to drag the mesh around. Just give me the t-shirt modification. And that would work just fine. You wouldn't have to do this every single time. And there are pieces that I still have to do. Uh, so this is not a final product. It's not ready for prime time. But I thought I would show you all three of the tools in the same place at the same time, and they can be saved and loaded uh, from a database. So that's what I've done in the past couple of weeks. And um, I'm going to be working on it in the future to add a lot more details, uh, both mesh modifications and things like facial features and so on.